Alright, it's daytime, so that was certainly a bust because these guys only appear at night. So let's actually just head further on into the region here. I would like to learn some new goddamn techs. Ooh, these guys still appear. Okay, that's good. Hopefully I can drain myself of MP before he dies, because that's also a decent way to kind of pseudo-defend, because you won't be able to do a damn thing if you don't have any MP. Yeah, no, I can just get around so we can attack me. You, defense command. you can't just sit there and let them beat the crap out of you. Because you actually need to have the tech used against you for half. That's not a guarantee, but if you can learn the tech, then you use it on you, there's a chance you may learn it. You gotta be kidding me. That just chaps my I'm not even gonna say it. I mean not that it's a big deal or anything and I was like close to dying or anything like that, but And he's actually gonna drop something. And he drops meat. Too bad, I'm not gonna feed you. And this is the toilet in the tropical jungle, by the way. I'm gonna get the giant meat drop from these guys. And I see a mushroom in the corner there. Yeah, if you go long enough without feeding your Digimon, eventually it'll shut up and stop bugging you. Oh! That was easy! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take one last opportunity to try to learn something here. Oh man, I am totally having no luck on this, um... Actually, this is not the direction I want to go in. I'm gonna back out. I was hoping to get at least, you know, a few of the early new texts. These are the daytime enemies right here. Without having to resort to save states this early on, but I guess I'm really gonna have to. And I'm sorry to have to do that, but... I don't want you sitting here all day waiting. Actually, something we can check out right here. Keep in mind this spot for a little later. Then we're gonna go north right here. Or maybe not. I think I have to go further west. East, whatever. We're going to explore those areas a little bit later. I'm trying to clear, you know, like one region out at a time. There we go. We want the mangrove region here. Whatever, you're just a Madoki Betamon. You're going to be easy to kill. Hi, BB. Quiet. My kitty's crying for my attention. And these ones are a little bit stronger than the ones in the, um... In the forest, so they're otherwise um, pretty much the same, just with higher HP. I didn't 
throw up that one quite in time, but that's alright. Please drop a floppy. You're doing a horrible job of doing that lately. Damn it. Now go up the thing and we want to go up and around this way. Or maybe not. I know where I'm trying to go. It's just a matter of remembering how the crap to get there. from here, but hold on one second. All right. It's the funky thing about this the map system in this game. Is leaving a screen a certain way can sometimes determine which place you go in. This is the part of the mangrove region I want. I don't want random encounters right now. There we go. We're gonna go to the Amita Forest. This is where our next recruit is hiding. No, you won't. Okay, so this place is kind of a quasi maze, so to speak. Now, if you get caught, he will shoot you and take off 50% of your, um... Let me just show that off real quick. 50% of your max HP. And eventually you'll get, if he shoots you again, if you don't heal, you'll get down to 1 HP and you'll have to leave the forest. And start over. Get us again, shit. Oh, god damn it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this in time. Oh, I have a medium recovery too, so. Let's see my HP. Yeah, I'm gonna have to resort to my medium recovery. Should have bought an autopilot before I left here, but. attempt to go around this way. Now, there's gonna be items on the ground. Most of them are just kind of traps. Oh, I was so close to the door, too. There's three doorways up here. And I'm at the wrong one. You wanna go to the one with the O on it. Yeah, see, I'm down past uh, one HP, so I have to leave the forest. And I believe it's random um, every time. You um, enter, it's not always going to be a certain door, so. I'm going to back away, and I'm going to go back to town and buy some items, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back at the entrance here, um, armed with a few new items. I rested at Punimon in town really quick, so I gained some HP, but not a lot. So let's try this again. Hopefully the location of the door hasn't changed. Since so, you know there's different items on the ground here. See now he's not attacking the crap out of me. In that part I actually didn't get knocked back as far. Nope, see, the location moved. Now it's gonna be over here. You wanna go to the door with the O on it. And the door opens up and it's another Centaurumon! So he was just tech bullshit. So Centaurumon is gonna actually open up a clinic! Um, 
basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna um you can actually heal your Digimon with him if they're, uh, you know, weak or injured, and also um, he will actually hear more tiredness than Punimon does. So that's going to be uh, pretty helpful considering I'm going to do some hardcore training soon. And if you notice in the bottom right corner there, um, see how the smiley face is blinking? Um, you can have you have that or a blinking sad face, depending on if the, your current partner Digimon actually likes or dislikes the current environment. I don't know how much overall effect it has on lifespan or really happiness or anything. I know if there are uh, certain Digimon in a certain area can hurt if they have a blinking sad face in, certain, in a certain area, but the happy face, I don't know, but it's just showing you, yeah, they're very, very happy to be there.